Actors from the London stage. Genuine. Dynamic. Shakespeare. Five professional actors from the Royal Shakespeare Company and Britain's National Theatre coming to your campus for a week of Shakespeare performances and exciting classroom experiences. An unforgettable week where Shakespeare comes alive on your campus. When I tell people there are only five actors in an Actors from the London stage show, their assumption is it can't work. How will you sort out the different characters? How will you know who's who? But when you see the show, the actors do it so brilliantly, so effortlessly, that you're engaged with it. And it all starts from that first moment when the actors come out and introduce themselves and the whole range of roles that they're playing. And immediately, you get it. Romeo. Juliet. Mercutio. The nurse. Friar Lawrence. Montague. Lady Montague. <laughs> Capulet. Lady Capulet. Old Capulet. Musician one. Two. Three. Seven. One. Two. One. Three. The Four. watch. One. Two. Three. They lose it at Dubai. You get the fact that as soon as an actor shifts a bit of costume, changes the angle of the body, alters the voice, suddenly he or she is someone else. I do but beg a little changeling boy to be my henchman. Set your heart at rest. The very land lies not the child of me. His mother was a votress of my order. And in the spice of Indian air by night, full often hath she gossiped by my side. When the actors come to Notre Dame, when they come to any campus, they don't just do classes for the theatre department or the English department. You'll find them in psychology classes, in gender studies classes. You'll find them in the business school and the law school. You'll find them in engineering and architecture. They're all over the place because what theater can offer, what the experience of presentation and performance can offer, belongs in every classroom across campus. Let, let's get some sound happening in this lovely dry old room. That's good. Enjoy the anarchy. We're in a courtroom, but we're being idiots. We're being idiots in a courtroom. Enjoy it. This won't happen. You won't be allowed to do this once you're working. When the actors come to a campus for a week, there's a buzz across the whole campus about what's happening. Um, I think we need to get rid of these tables, because they're in our way. So could you move all the tables out to the outside edges of the uh, room? First of all, I want to just hear where you got to with your, your Scottish accents. These actors don't come in to lecture the class on the history of Shakespeare theatre or performance. They come in to make something happen in the classroom. I think so. I always think of the faculty member as kind of like their parents, and we're this rather racy uncle who comes into town once every so often with these amazing tales, you know. You have to be prepared for anything. It can be a bit nerve-wracking for the students, but it's also exciting suddenly to find there's a new way of working, that the desks are pushed away, the space is open, the imagination is free, the body is loose, and you're doing totally different kinds of things. This is your stage. This is the thing, you know, when you're told you've got to stand up here in this room, I believe, and make this speech, th this is where today could be so valuable if you volunteer, because this is, you should get used to this space before somebody really makes you scared. Any opportunity you get to go where you're going to make your speech before you need to make it, take it. Take it and use it. I mean, this is what actors do. This is really incredible. It really helps uh, knowing how to inject feeling and meaning into your words. And I thought that the advice about the breathing in particular was very, very useful. Ground yourself, literally. And think about the breath coming up. Another tip is when you're really nervous, breathe out first. Think about wherever you are in your breath right now. It's, it's an unconscious thing, but if you suddenly stop yourself and go, oh, then you can control it. And I beseech you, rest once the law to your authority. To do a great right, do a little wrong, and curb this cruel devil of his will. I guess what I noticed while I was up there, there's a certain physicality to it. You have to pay attention to how you're standing and, and the way you breathe and, 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 and 
having somebody point those things out to you and talk you through how to do it in a, in a correct manner was really helpful. You know, for students it's a big leap to come from reading and writing, which they're obviously brilliant at and they spend a lot of time doing that, but it's a big leap to actually stand up and do something with the words, to make the words more than written words. Use your bodies to help bring this accent alive. Okay. <laughs> How the devil came he in? <laughs> but Dale make hair. Missy, why are you sitting and shaking in the gym from the chimney next <laughs> It really sort of brought the book to life since when it's on a page it's really flat, but this gave it a lot, obviously, a lot more dimension. So um, we got to speak in accents, we really got our bodies into it, and I think that that really made the literature more um, vibrant. Uh, you know, it's crucial to understand there are no absolutes in this. We're here on your campus doing the Merchant of Venice. It should really be a Merchant of Venice. It's just our view of it. To the best of our ability, we've brought this play to your campus truthfully as we see it. But it's not our job to tell you the message of it. If you try and act the message of your part, you're not acting a human being. People have said all sorts of different things about my Shylock, good or bad, it's what it is. All I do is try and play him honestly, second by second. Well, Shylock, shall we be beholden to you? Signor Antonio, many a time and oft on the Rialto, you have rated me about my monies and my usances. Still have I borne it with a patient shrug, for sufferance is the badge of all our tribe. You call me misbeliever, cutthroat dog, and spat upon my Jewish gabardine, and all for use of that which is mine own. Well then, it now appears you need my help. Go to then. You come to me and you say, Shylock, we would have monies. You say so. I always think of, of this kind of work as active Shakespeare. There are no possibilities with, with one of these classroom experiences of just staying tight behind your desk. It's about getting up on your feet. It's about discovering for yourself in your head, through your voice, through your body, what you can do with Shakespeare. And the actors open up that immense possibility for all the students of discovering for themselves, of sharing the making of, of Shakespeare into a living theatrical experience. Actors from the London stage. Genuine, dynamic Shakespeare. <laughs>